Hey everybody, it's Mr. Montgomery again. Um, today we're going to talk about our last transformation, and that's called dilation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a dilation is where we change the size of a shape. So um, some people may recognize the word dilation when people talk about their pupils dilating. And dilating just means that your pupils changing its size. So if you go into a dark room, your pupil gets larger to let more light in. When you go into a brighter room, it gets smaller to help reduce how much light goes in, but it's just changing the size. So what we're going to do today is change the size of some shapes on a grid. And just like the other transformations that we've done with translations, rotations, and reflections, there's a rule we're going to follow. And the rule is we're going to dilate this shape with a scale factor of 2. And factor should give you a hint as to what we're going to do. Factor means multiply. So we're going uh, to um, look at multiplying some stuff, okay? So first thing we need to do is we need to identify each of these points with the ordered pairs. So K, original point, the point it is right now, and notice this, this is going by twos. So I hope I don't mess up and count it by one, but it's by twos. So you can see K is at negative four for the X and four for the Y. We're going to go and identify all these points. N, <clears throat> excuse me, is negative 4 for the X and negative 4 for the Y. M is 4 for the X and negative 4 for the Y. <clears throat> Pardon me. And L, original point, the point we're using starting out, is 4 for the X and four for the Y. So now we have all the order pairs for all four points. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to multiply it by each of these points. And you can use a calculator if you want to. Okay. So we're going to multiply the X value for K and the Y value for K. And we're going to get a new location for K. Remember that little mark means new location. So we're going to take negative four and multiply it by two. We do that, our new x is negative 8. And then we're going to do the same thing for y. We're going to take 4, and we're going to multiply it by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So our new location for k is negative 8, 8. We're going to do the same thing for n. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. That's our new x. And negative 4 times 2, of course, for y is negative 8. A new location for m is 4 times 2, which is 8. And negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. And then our new location for l, <clears throat> pardon me. 4 times 2 for our new x is going to be 8. And 4 times 2 for our new y is also going to be 8. So, sorry about the focus here. Sorry about that. That's just me being left-handed. Kind of makes it go out of focus a little bit. We've got negative 4, 4 converts to negative 8, 8. Negative 4, to, uh, negative 4 converts to negative 8, negative 8. All we've done is multiplied all these numbers by 2. And we're going to move points out here to the side. So now we need to plot these new points. So we'll start here with k. Our new k is negative 8, negative 8. So negative 8 for x, negative 8 for y is right here. So here's our new k. Our new n is, <coughs> excuse me, is negative 8, negative 8, which is right here. Our new m is 8, negative 8. And our new L is 8 and 8, which is right here. 8. We'll go over 8 and up 8. And then we're, IXL will do this for you. We'll draw it just, we'll just kind of real quick here. You guys know what this is going to look like. So you can see our new rectangle that we've got right here is twice as large as the original rectangle. That means it's been dilated with a scale factor of 2. 
Like I said, which means we just multiplied each of these points by two and got a new point. Okay? So, now what we're going to do, well, I guess, hang on. First of all, notice that we multiply by a scale factor of two, our shape got larger. Okay? Here, we're going to multiply this, <clears throat> excuse me, this shape by a scale factor of one-fourth. So what does that mean? What do you think that means? That means that this shape is going to be smaller than this one. The new shape will be smaller than this. So let's take a look. I went ahead and wrote the points out. We're going to multiply each of those by one fourth, right? So remember, this factor means multiplying. Okay. So um, we're going to multiply by each of these values by one fourth, and we're going to get a new point. So let's take a look and see what that does. And you can use a calculator for this if you need to. Zero times one fourth, anything times zero is zero. Negative four times one fourth, you put that in the calculator, you get negative one. Okay? Our new S, zero times one fourth, of course that's still zero. Zero times any number is zero. Negative eight times one fourth is negative two. That's going to be our new point for S. Our new point for R, 8 times 1 fourth is 2. And negative 8 times 1 fourth is negative 2. Maybe I should write that down here so you see. 8 times 1 fourth, that gets us 2. And then negative 8 times 1 fourth, that gets us negative 2. Okay. Q, our new Q, is 8 times 1 fourth, which we've already figured that out, is 2. And negative 4 times 1 fourth is negative 1. Okay? We just took each of these and multiplied them times 1 fourth. Let's go back and write this for you real quick. So you can see the math that we did. So each of these <clears throat> numbers, excuse me, are multiplied by one fourth to get our new location. So let's plot these real quick. Here we've got P, the new location for P is zero negative one. We're gonna have to kind of estimate a little bit. So zero negative one's right about here. That's gonna be our new P. <clears throat> 0, negative 2 is our new S. So that's right here. Let me see what happens. Our new R is 2, negative 2, which is right here. You can see this is going to be much smaller. And our new Q is 2, negative 1. And you can see our new rectangle here is much smaller. How much smaller? It's one-fourth of the original size. Use these notes and this video to help you get through um, the last transformation I, uh, IXL that you need to do. Uh, just do your best. Give it your best shot. If you have questions, make sure you email your teacher, and we'll talk to you later.